matter what size your company is right now, hiring one great employee could change your company. In fact, knowing how to attract and onboard talented team members can grow your company's bottom line faster than almost any other task you could focus on. And knowing how to work with your current team so that they could become drivers to your growth will give you a level of freedom that most entrepreneurs only dream of. Okay, so most companies fall into one of two categories when it comes to hiring employees. Either they put an enormous amount of time and money into attracting and interviewing and hiring and training people, or they think hiring the right people takes so much time and money that they do the absolute minimum just to get by, which is putting ads online and then interviewing a bunch of candidates and then just hiring somebody from that small group of applicants. That's it, that's their, that's their universe and they, they have to choose somebody from there in their minds. Now both of those things could work, but one's super costly and one's way too risky. So I'm gonna give you a few bullet points to show you how we develop strong, motivated, loyal teams inside of each of my companies. And this works for startups as well as high eight-figure companies. And if you follow these tips, you'll be light years ahead of most other businesses. First, before hiring, we create a strong culture. Because no matter what you read in books or hear at seminars, in the real world of scaling companies, growth is more about culture than it is about team. Because great team members are attracted to the right culture. And the best team members are highly attracted to growing companies. So your culture needs to be built around a quality mission that gets everybody excited and gives everybody the ability to work as a team to accomplish something great. And I'm gonna go fast here. So just so that you guys kind of get an overall picture of how we grow winning teams. And if you have any questions about anything that I say, just please ask me in the chat section below and we'll put a video together for whatever we need to in order to go deeper on what you need. But after you put together a mission, then you invite the right people to join your team, people who are aligned with the mission. And you have to remember something here. When your culture is strong, great people are attracted to your company. And those people are not looking in online classifieds. You'll find them at trade shows and through vendors and on LinkedIn. And, and you'll also find them working at your competition. So you may have to do a little espionage and, and steal somebody. And by the way, hiring the right people is never a one interview process. Most of our interviews take two to three meetings before an offer is made. And one of which might be off-site or out of the office so that I could see how they'll handle themselves in a less professional environment. For example, how do they treat the waiter at our local restaurants or something like that? I mean, if they treat the waiter like crap, I doubt they're gonna be a fit in any of my companies. Next, job candidates should never be told what the salary is until after you've met with them, number one, and then interviewed them and discovered their true talent level and maybe even introduced them to your team so both you and them could see if there's a fit for long term. Now, what we almost always find is that the best team members will work for less after they feel like there's a really good fit for them in your company. And once they come on board, they could be an instant, they can have an instant, dramatic, positive impact on your growth. Now, after you've hired somebody, that's when the real fun begins because now we have to show them that you value them and their time and their input and always find a reason to give your team the credit for anything the company achieves because the more your team feels like they're part of the growth, the harder they'll drive and the harder they'll work to get your company higher and higher levels. And then we meet with our team often. I mean, uh, we have meetings every single day. They're fast and everybody comes prepared to give their input on how they are gonna help boost the growth of the company that day or that week or that month so that everybody's focused in the right direction every single day. Now our meetings, we use whiteboards because it makes concepts super simple for everybody to understand. Remember, your goal in business is to make each piece of the puzzle transferable so it's off your plate and so that your team takes ownership and they can only do that if everything is really clear for them. Also, understand this, and I learned this from a very good friend of mine who says, there's good decisions, bad decisions, and no decisions. The very worst decision is no decision, and the very second worst decision is a bad decision. Your team must be trained to make decisions and not condemned when they make bad decisions. Bad decisions simply require more training, but people who can't make decisions usually can't get better through training, and you have to understand that. And when you're training somebody, when you're training a new person, you have to remember also that they're drinking through a fire hose, meaning you're downloading a lot of information to them, some of which is just naturally gonna be forgotten. Forgotten. So maybe three to four weeks after their training, after they get a chance to actually start working for you and get into the, you know, get into the trenches, 
about three to four weeks after that, we do a follow-up meeting to make sure that they got it all. It's a kind of a retraining and it helps everybody to hit the ground running and gain a lot of momentum. And that's gonna cut down on 80% of your staff headaches and help them to excel a lot faster and feel good about their position with you and excel. And finally, you need to scale their pay when needed. Now, most great team members are hungry. They want to plant roots with the company and be part of their growth. And they want to be well rewarded for their part in that growth. But this is where so many companies go wrong. They assume that their team only wants money as their reward, but that's rarely true. Great employees want recognition. They want to be taken out to lunch by their boss. They want certificates of achievement. They want a, a VIP parking. They want time off to spend with their family. They want to work from home on occasion. They want peer recognition. And yes, they want money too, but you should never rely solely on money as a reward or think that you always need to be the top payer in your industry. What great employees want more than anything else is to be part of a great growing smart team. To sum it up, no matter what size your company is right now, hiring one great employee will change your company. No matter what, no questions asked. It will happen. And knowing how to attract and qualify the best candidates can grow your company's bottom line and streamline your organization faster than almost any other task you could focus on. And knowing how to work with your current team so that they can become drivers to your growth will give you a level of freedom that most entrepreneurs only dream of. On the other hand, hiring just one wrong person for a job can be a financial disaster and quickly become a virus that spreads throughout your team. And that virus is gonna slow or stop your growth completely. Now, if you have a story about a great employee or about an employee who became a virus, share it in the comment section below so that we could all learn and help each other grow from it. No matter what stage of growth you're at, we all need an unbiased review of what's working and also what might not be working anymore in our business. Because the greatest cause of stagnation in any company, the reason most companies hit plateaus in their growth is because they fail to see the roadblocks that stop momentum in its tracks.